We're joined with Rick Dovey from the ACUA, and we know the ACUA picks up trash and recyclables from homes, but it has a great program also for schools and businesses. Rick Dovey, give us the lowdown. Well, we, we pick up recycling from businesses and schools and hospitals and so forth, and uh, we, we want to encourage everybody mm -hmm. to recycle. So how does a business or school or a larger institution get started on a program? They, they give us a call or go to our website. There's something called business recycling. They can sign right up and we will send a team out who will assess and figure out how to best recycle, how much can be recycled, set them up with containers like this, mm -hmm. and also then we'll put them on our collection schedule. Now, not only can you set someone up, but you could also give someone a refresher course. That's right. Some businesses and institutions need to be a tune-up. I anyway. love it. Rick Dovey from the ACUA. Thank you. Also joining us today is Debbie Mancini Wilson, best selling author of a book called Color My World and My Creativity Expert. And we're talking about, you know, are we a creative genius or are we just a kind of weirdo, wacko, kind of out there trying to be different? Mm -hmm. There is a difference, but there is a point to understanding that everybody really has a creative process in them. There is. Okay. There is a point to that. You don't have to be one or the other. You can be that linear thinking person that has a very uh, clinical type of, of job, the accountant, the attorney, etc. The but, doctor. Yes. Right. But have you n never gotten a great idea to solve a problem for one client or patient while working with another mm -hmm. and rolled that over into it? So That's I think the, creative. So the point is, is when you're working with client A or patient A, you get this great idea over here, but really it might apply to something else. I think the biggest point is for someone who's real linear thinking, mm -hmm. recognize that that is being creative. Right. We want them to recognize it. We want them to know and understand that that right there, that little thing, that spark of an idea, that was creativity. And you can't ignore the fact that you are going to take that somewhere else. That's the creative process. Okay, what do I do with it? Take that. Now, now, you, now you at least are aware of it. Your antenna's up and you're going to be more open to it the next time it comes. And you're going to stop calling us creative people wackos. <laughs> But you always say then write it down. Write it down and do something with it. So you have to write it down so you don't lose the thought. You know, you know my, my great friend Bryson, he always says, ah, we can be out, we can be do something. He always says, text yourself that. Text yourself that right now. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because if you say, oh, I'll remember it, maybe you won't. Exactly. And the idea is, to, because that is part of the creative process. And that might, you know, go into something else. So I think the CPA, the doctor, the attorney. Right be creative it's okay it's it's more than okay because that's tapping into that's allowing you to be more you more more, more, more authentic successful. and more successful yes. i love it debbie mancini wilson and that's better living